I should pull my hair back like this. Nah. back to my channel today's video is going to be the best of june and this is kind of like my monthly favorites installment but i've just decided to call it something else just because i want to be different what all the stuff that i'm loving this month are mainly makeup and beauty items i don't have an app to share with you this month but i have a lot of other stuff to share with you that i think you might like so i'm not going to ramble on too much because i know you guys hate the rambling I'm just going to get right into the video so let's get started the first thing that i have is a body oil that i have been using and absolutely loving um i suffer from it's not a suffer i'm not suffering at all but i have hyperhidrosis and for those of you who are unfamiliar with that term it's basically excessive sweating and my hyperhidrosis is um full focused on my palms and feet so with that a lot of times um, certain materials I hate touching as well as certain body lotions I hate using because it kind of sparks the hyperhidrosis and my palms start sweating profusely it's actually kind of gross sometimes so I tend to lean away from body lotions and body oils really help to keep my hyperhidrosis under control um, the oils just basically absorb into my skin whereas I feel like the body lotions they kind of sit on top of my skin and it just kind of I don't know it just makes me sweat more for some reason but anyways the body oil that I've been loving is called ours and this one is by Cheryl Hickey what I really love about this is that it has a really um, um, strong lavender scent and I love lavender I love lavender scent so lavender is very calming for the body it's calming for the mind and I just absolutely love to use this this is a three-in-one hydrating oil so it's good for skin hair and massage I think it's a little bit too heavy for the hair but it's absolutely perfect for the skin and my body just my skin just sucks this right up I never understand the whole idea of gluten in like beauty products if somebody can explain that to me in the comment section below please let me know because i feel very ignorant on that fact because my question is why do we have to worry about gluten in makeup products like i don't know but explain that to me anyways i'm not i don't have celiac or anything so gluten i don't really care much about but it is cruelty free so it was not tested on animals it has natural fragrance it's alcohol free and it's paraben free and it is also free of petrochemicals mineral oil and um dyes so this stuff is really good if you are very um uh what is the word nature conscious if you're very um conscious of these like organic uh, cruelty free products then the hours uh, brand is really good and they also sell like a lot of other stuff too like they sell moisturizers and other like makeup and beauty products so the hours brand I really love and I picked this one up from Rexall and I think I paid 10 bucks for it so it works really well as like my substitute body lotion um, so if you guys are looking for something like that then I would highly recommend this one the simple um, cleansing facial wipes these are freaking amazing i was using the aveeno ones before and i love aveeno like aveeno is like one of my favorite drugstore brands ever and i saw this the simple simple beauty products are very rarely on sale or i'm always missing it uh so when i saw that this was on sale the other day and i ran out of my aveeno wipes i'm like i'm gonna jump on it and i'm trying it this stuff lifts makeup away like nobody's business i was just like what now it's so good and i never thought i never thought it would be this good like i've seen people rave about it but you know when you hear raves and you're just like oh, too good to be true my god this stuff is amazing i think it cleans makeup a lot better than the aveeno makeup wipes it's one of the best makeup remover wipes i've ever used from the drugstore like obviously like if you buy makeup remover wipes like say from mac or something like that those ones are really good but if you're looking for really good drugstore makeup removing wipes then i think you should go out and try the simple brand this stuff is it's freaking amazing the l'oreal um infallible pro spray and set this is the makeup extender setting spray um fun fact urban decay is owned by l'oreal so a lot of their products um, tend to be very similar urban decay obviously is the higher end um, but the infallible um, makeup extender this stuff is amazing and I 
I haven't bought drugstore makeup in a really long time and I went into the drugstore the other day and this was on sale from $18 down to $15 and I thought I'd give it a try. Um, personally, I thought even then, I thought it was a little bit expensive for a drugstore um, makeup product but this stuff is actually really good and I did not know about this and it's been around for I would say like six months to a year now and I'm literally I just found it like three weeks ago and I'm so happy I did I knew nothing about this stuff before I saw it in the drugstore and that goes to tell you I'm not really doing my job as a beauty person on YouTube because I should be able to tell you guys about these things basically you just have to shake it up and you apply it you hold it like 8 to 10 inches away from the face and then you apply it in a T and X motion and just make sure that you close your eyes when you're doing this you really don't want to get this in your eyes um, I would say that it gives a kind of dewy finish to the skin which is really nice if that's what you're going for and after buying this and using it I looked up reviews online and a lot of people really love this especially for oily skin really good stuff I've been really loving the benefit high beam um, I was never a huge fan of jumping on bandwagons when makeup items just come out and I know that that comes with a part of the job description when you're on YouTube it really helps to stay on top of makeup and beauty trends and stuff like that so right now the big thing is strobing and basically it's just a fancy name for um, highlighting the skin strobing is just highlighting you don't, the only difference is you do it differently than how you normally would do it so usually when you're highlighting and contouring you apply your foundation and then your contour and highlight powder or cream or whatever with strobing people tend to apply the highlighter um, before you get to the foundation and stuff like that so basically that's what I use this for right now um, previously when I was using it I would just use it to add like an extra highlighting on the cheeks but I figured you know strobing is out I'm not gonna go and buy anything to do the strobing thing even though a lot of makeup brands look out for it a lot of makeup brands are going to be pushing strobing products and sets and stuff like that don't fall for the hype you can probably do it with things that you have at home already so this is a liquid highlighter and it's just a luminescent complexion enhancer it says and basically with this one uh, I just um, after I apply my primer, I just dot it on the areas where I usually highlight. So my forehead, the bridge of my nose, the planes of my cheeks, uh, down here, and my cupid's bow. I blend it out and then I kind of pat my foundation on top of that with a beauty blender. I try not to blend over it because you don't want it to go anywhere. Basically, you want your, it to look like your skin is shining from within or glowing from within, not shining. Um, so basically, that is what I'm using this for right now and I'm absolutely loving it. I love to use that for strobe, use this for strobing more so than just applying it on my skin um, after I've done uh, putting on my makeup and adding the extra highlight or whatever. I don't know, I just think it's better for that. Um, the one thing I can say, one gripe I have with this product is that it does tend to dry out. So you just might wanna shake it up every time you use it uh, and it'll probably just keep it a little bit longer. NARS um, Soft Velvet Loose Powder and my shade in this one is Mountain. I really, really love this powder. It is very soft and it just goes onto the skin and it feels like you're not wearing anything. It's very lightweight, but I would say it's also very full coverage. And I like to apply this with a large, um, a large powder brush like this one this one is from real techniques and we'll get to this one in a minute but i absolutely love this powder after i bought my um hourglass ambient lighting powder i put this down for a little bit and i wasn't using it so much i can tell you though that this has replaced my mac mineralized skin finish and I, I, just, I don't know, I just think this is amazing. I bought this back in April when I was prepping for my wedding and I absolutely love this powder. Best powder I have used personally and I just kind of like dust it all over my face um, to set my makeup once I'm done applying it and this stuff is just really good for that. Um, it has a sifter, which is really good. I find that it doesn't, um, 
let out too much product, which is what I love. You tend to run in, into a lot of problems when it comes to sifters because it uh, they just kind of like, there's literally no control and then it kind of defeats the purpose of having a sifter in the first place. But basically I just hold it upside down and pat it like that to get some product out and then I just, um, and then I use my, go in with my brush and just dust it all over my skin. So really love this powder. If you guys are looking for a new um, setting powder to apply with your makeup, then I would highly recommend this one. So the next thing that I'm loving is another product from NARS. This is Talos, this is a blush. And I really like this one, it's great for summer. It has um, light reflecting particles in it. So it'll give your skin a really nice glow and it also gives your cheeks a really nice amount of color. Um, I like to build this one just because you don't want to apply too much at first. It's a little bit and then you apply it to get the right amount that you want. Um, but with this powder, what I really love about it is that it just has a really nice flush of color. It's almost like a reddish plum. It's really hard to find. I don't find it at Sephora anymore. I have to actually go to the NARS beauty counter whenever I'm in the Bay or Holt Run through and uh, that's where you can find this one if you're in Canada so the NARS um, NARS blush in Taos my nails have not been very kind to me lately back in March I started wearing um, bio gel extensions with shellac on top because I wanted my nails to grow for the wedding and then by the time the wedding came around I had really long nails so actually on my wedding day I wasn't wearing any bio gel I was just wearing shellac nail polish on top because my nails were long enough so now fast forward to june i'm starting to see the repercussions of wearing nail extensions which is why i don't do it very often i like to grow my natural nails but now my nails are breaking like crazy i think i'm down to like two good ones and the rest of them are just all broken and stuff but what i've been using and what's been helping really well with just kind of keeping my nails strong enough to grow out is the grow stronger base coat by essie and basically with this one i kind of wear it on its own when i want just like a little bit of shine to my nails and then i also use it as a base coat underneath my nail polishes and you can definitely see the difference between when i use this as a base coat and when i just use a regular base coat on my nail polish my nails break when i'm using just a normal base coat and with this one my nails do feel a lot thicker and they feel a lot healthier so if you guys are looking for something to help your nails to grow and to keep them nice and thick while they're growing out after you know the stresses of nail extensions then i would recommend this one it's the best one i've used i've used a lot of brands of nail polish but the se um the se uh, nail care line is actually really really good and so I highly recommend the Grow Stronger. These two um, eyeshadows, and I have them in pots. So the first one that I have is Handwritten. This is a matte eyeshadow. This one I absolutely love. What I've been using it for lately is just to give my eyes like a nice, simple, daytime smoky look the easiest smoky eye ever basically i just use a black eyeliner and i just line my eyes not very neatly and then i just use a small brush something like this one to just kind of smudge it out and it just gives your eyes a really nice smoky look that you can wear on an everyday basis it takes five minutes and it's two products so i'm really loving handwritten for that it's really great for the outer corners and depending on your hair color you can also use it as um as an eyebrow powder to fill in your brows and then the next one that i'm loving is bronze this is a frost finish um, eyeshadow this one is really great for just an all-over lid color when you just can't be bothered to do like full eye makeup and i'm not really big on eyeshadows i just think i don't know i have hooded lids so eyeshadow tends to get lost in translation whenever i apply it and it just takes a little bit more work to apply it in a way that people can actually still see color so i usually don't waste my uh, my time on eyeshadows too much but bronze is a really great color especially for the summertime so if you guys are interested um then there's those two another thing that i've been loving is the zara woman Corso Vittorio Emmanuel Milano uh, de Toilette. This is a rollerball perfume. 
I absolutely love this. This comes in handy whenever... There are days sometimes I leave my house I, I forget to apply perfume. I never forget deodorant, but I do forget to apply perfume. And this always comes in handy because I'm just like, huh, I have something in my purse and I can smell nice today other than just smelling like deodorant. And this one is really great because then I just kind of like apply it um, behind my ears to like my wrist section and like my inner elbow and I'm good to go and I smell nice and pretty. I have three brushes to share with you guys and I'm actually really excited about this. I haven't bought a MAC brush in a really long time but these three are from Real Techniques and I bought these <coughs> I bought these back in either the beginning of June or the end of May and these ones I picked up because I've always wanted to try Real Techniques brushes. I just kind of gave up on the idea of trying them just because I live in Canada and you give up on finding certain things when you live here because we just don't have a lot of stuff or it's just a lot harder to find. You know what I mean? Like this stuff you can probably find in like Walgreens or Target in the States. Here you just got to do a little bit more digging. So I actually saw, um, I would call her a cyber friend. Um, her YouTube name is Girl Met Blush and she posted Real Techniques blush brushes on her Instagram and she lives I think in Nova Scotia. I'm really sorry if that's not where you live but she lives in Canada and she had these. I'm just like where do you find these things and she found hers in Walmart. They weren't in my Walmart here but I that very same day I was leaving a conference and I walked past a Rexall and I was just like let me go in here and see what they have because Rexall is usually cheaper and they came across these bl these brushes and I'm just like meant to be kind of so I just grabbed them right away um, it came in I think a pack of four but these I am absolutely loving these brushes right now and three of my favorites are the um, the powder brush so this large one here which is the one I mentioned earlier when applying my NARS um, setting powder this stuff is amazing best powder brush I've ever used contour brush which is exactly what I use it for this is just really nice for just getting into the hollows of the cheeks applying the the powder and then I just blend it in a circular motion just to blend out the contour a little bit I love this brush for that and then the last one that I'm absolutely loving is the detailer brush this really tiny brush here um, this one I you can use it for the kind of like the inner uh, corners of your eyes but today what I used this brush for was to just kind of blend out my eyeliner which is what I told you about to just give your your eyes a really nice and simple smoky eye look so these are the three brushes that I'm absolutely loving and if you guys haven't tried Real Techniques brushes yet please look into them I didn't I was missing out I'm not even joking they've been around for so long and I literally just picked them up. Let me know what products you are loving for the month of June in the comment section below. And also let me know what video you would like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you really like this video, hit that thumbs up button. I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks guys so much. Love you. Bye. <laughs> okay, now to do the other stuff this video when you lift it it falls that's what I love and then like it goes away like a week later and my hair looks like shit all over again so I'm making the most of it right now sorry I was looking if you know I ran out of space here oh, I can feel my face when I'm with you my love